Hi there! Do you want to learn Power Automate and simplify your workflows? In this video, I will share one of the lessons from my Power Automate module on my Udemy course. If you want to access the course, check the pinned comment below or become a channel member to unlock all the lessons. Let's get started. Hi there! Now let's get started building the scheduled cloud flow. That's one of the three types of flows. As we already saw, this flow will run daily from Monday to Friday load all the tasks from the tasks lists, format as a table and send to the approvers. And we just created a child flow that will be called from this flow to bring all the approvers already concatenated so we can reuse this flow when necessary. So let's get started and go to our solution in the Power Automate interface. Here in the solution, we are going to create a new automation cloud flow and select schedule. When we click on it, now we see that the interface is a little different. We don't need to select the trigger as before and we need to configure when this flow is going to run. Let's first give it a name. I'll call it generate a daily report. Here I can configure when this flow is going to run. So I can select the starting date and hour and how this flow is going to repeat every one minute, one second, one hour, one day, one week, or one month. And I can also change this number here, of course. Let's say every five minutes, if it's a flow that I have to run constantly, or even every 12 months, so it will run yearly. So, what we are going to do here to run every day in the business days is we are going to put to run every one week and then we can select the days that we want this to run so i will unselect sunday and saturday so it will run every week on monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday and then i can select at what time of the day this flow is going to run every business day let's say in the end of the day at around 5 pm or well, let's give it a time for people to complete their tasks and let's put after everything is closed at 7 p.m. Then let's click on create to create our flow. Now we can see that the trigger is a recurrence and we have here the same configurations we just applied in there. We can add it. So here we have the options to change it, but we are not playing with it right now. And I just want to add any step here to save my flow. As usual, I just put a compose, write something inside and save it. Just write anything here and click on save to save the flow so I can go back and open with the new interface. The flow is saved. I'm going to go back, wait for it to appear here inside the solution. Now it's already here and I can edit this one. It opened with the new interface. We can even expand again the recurrence trigger and we have now the pane here in the sides. One thing to notice here is that when I created the flow, I put at 7 p.m. on my time. And now we can see that here the start time is 22 because it converted to UTC time. When we have this Z in the end, it means that the UTC time. Here where I am right now, I'm three hours behind UTC. So 7 p.m. means 22 on UTC time. Here in the trigger configuration, we can select the time zone. So for example, I could have selected my time zone here, UTC minus three, Brasilia, and then put it at 19 and remove the Z in the end. And then it will run at 7 p.m. on my time. Now we need to start building our flow. That's loading the tasks from that day and formatting as an HTML table to send in the email. Let's continue in the next lesson. Do you want to watch the classes without any interruptions? By becoming a channel member or purchasing the course, you can watch ad-free and support the future of my content creation. Check out the link in the description and in the pinned comment to get started. See you in the next lesson.